A golf cart crash in the middle of a busy Jenison intersection hurt a mom and her two young daughters, but it's also raising questions tonight about if the cart should have been on the road in the first place. 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson live tonight with how that family is doing and with answers about that golf cart in particular. Danny? Brian and Sue, I spoke with the driver of the golf cart's boyfriend today. He said one of the little girls has a broken collarbone, but everyone is resting comfortably and doing fine tonight, and they're obviously very grateful for that. We looked into it a little bit today and found out over a 17-year period that there was a 130% increase in golf cart injuries. We also found out today the injuries from yesterday's accident could have been much worse. Worst case scenario, if you get hit, um, in a golf cart, which is basically plastic uh, by a vehicle that's doing any decent speed, it's the injuries are going to be significant. In the case of yesterday's accident, a car going about 45 miles per hour hit this golf cart. The cart rolled over, and the driver, 33 year old Stacy West, and her six and four year old daughters were ejected from it. Sheriff's officials say they're lucky to be resting at home tonight. Could this have been a lot worse? Absolutely. Could have been a lot worse. Fortunately for everyone, this is going to this is going to turn out positive for them, but uh, again, could have been very fatal. So, the big question, is it even legal to drive a golf cart on a Michigan road? The answer is some are, but we found out from the driver's boyfriend, West Golf Cart had a maximum speed of 17 miles per hour. That means it shouldn't have been driving on a road where the speed limit is 35 or higher. Depending on the road, if you're in a neighborhood where there again you're meeting all the requirements, it's probably an okay thing to drive once in a while. But if you're going to take it out on a busy street, especially Baldwin, probably the busiest street we have here in the township besides Chicago Drive or the highways, uh, no, it's, it's not a good idea to take. You just don't have that those safety features that are built in like a regular car. And to be able to drive on a road in Michigan, a cart has to meet some very specific requirements. It has to have things like a real windshield, turn signals, and highway approved tires. And even if it turns out West's golf cart had all of those things, experts say that doesn't mean it was as safe as the other cars on the roadway. There's no protection in a golf cart. You don't have seat belts. Saying you're not wearing a helmet like you would in an ATV, people just assume it's golf, it's safe, it's not. You can easily, if you run into something, you're going to fall out or go right through the front. When we spoke with the sheriff's department today, they said the reason why the injuries in that accident probably weren't worse is because the driver of the car involved in that crash apparently tried to do everything she could to avoid hitting the golf cart, including slowing down and stopping. For more information on the rules of the road for golf carts and how to check to see if your cart is road ready, check out our website, woodtv.com. Live in Jenison tonight, Danny Carlson, 24-Hour News 8.